Hello everyone, my name is Sick, and welcome back to Anno 1800. We're playing the campaign and we just blew up the rocks that barred access to this other side of the island. So, today we have a new objective, which is to build an iron mine, to build a charcoal kiln, to build a furnace and to build one steelworks. Now, most of this, if not all of it, is going to require the worker class. And yeah, we're just going to start by placing down an iron mine. So we have two, and we'll place the mine on top of that or no, right there. Lived. No use dragging it out now, he's gone. All right, on top of that, we need a charcoal kiln, and we could build one over here, but I don't really want to. So I'm going to build one roughly about there, I guess. Right, and of course, these should be hooked up by a road. Like so. And then this road is going to extend. Um, a little bit like so. And this one is going to hook up like so. Alright, and now we're going to drag this one out along the corner there. So that we know exactly the area this what is being used in. Right. So, now we are going to need a furnace for smelting. And we can get that one right there. You and now we can get a steelworks right Samuel about there. Wouldn't have given up. But we need more bricks, which we don't have right at the moment. So, we need one more ton of bricks, which we will have pretty soon, I would, I would say. On top of that, this building requires about 200 workers, and we don't have it. So we're going to have to expand our town just to be able to run this thing. And on top of that... There is no shame in producing weapons if it is in defense of the realm, eldest. Yeah, we need a weapon factory. And a weapon factory is probably... Oh, it only requires 50 workers, so we're going to... Uh, yeah. Place that one right about there. Once we have the resources that we need. Now then, let us upgrade some more houses. Now we have this nifty upgrade button, which we can use. And so we will. And right now we have roughly the amount of people that we need. We have the farmers, the workers are slowly filling up because we these new buildings this. are slowly going to go up to the amount that they want, right? Now, um, as for the, all the things they want, sausages and bread are okay, now they also want soap. And soap um, is going to require 30 workers, 40, no, sorry, 30 farmers, 40 workers, 50 workers, 90 new workers, and... 30 farmers. Basically, that means we have to have many more houses. So I'm going to copy what I already did on the other side there, I guess. And we'll drag out a little road like so. Now we'll leave a little bit of space so that we can add some trees or something like that later on. We can maybe have nice ornaments over here. <coughs> Sorry. Um, because... I did get the fountain square from the Uplay store, and that fits in here perfectly. So we're going to place a little fountain for the people to enjoy in this little bit of useless space. Right, so we are slowly but surely filling up on everything that we need. And all that is left to build now is the weapons factory. Now, hopefully, soon enough, we will have enough people to actually do it. Once we have the weapons factory up and running, we can start making the two gunboats and the frigates. So that we can complete our quest. Maybe Save. we should also take a look at making the pig farm, the rendering works, and the soap factory. Let's have, let's have a look. So, pigs are being produced every minute. Uh, rendering works produces something every minute. The soap factory produces soap every 30 seconds. So that basically means we would have to have two of these 
two rendering works for one soap factory. And that is a lot of extra workers that we need to have. But as soon as we have the soap, we will also have, or we will start to receive more workers in our existing houses. So things will kind of balance out over time, but I do think a few more houses are in order. So we're just going to fill in this little area here. Now we don't have as much wood as we need. That is something that we are going to be working on. Two and two are being unloaded, so that is fine. <laughs> but yeah, that doesn't give us a whole lot to work with. We could use two more of these. Right, but where will we place them? The lumberjack's hut and the sawmill. Like we could fit something in here. And so I will. I'll get the sawmill right there. Right, connect it up to the road and of course I would like to extend this road right there so that we know exactly where we can and cannot build right and so we can mark off this little section as well so we can still put something in here I guess or maybe delete this bit of road and place something else I'm not entirely sure yet so now these things only require a few workers right so five workers or um, farmers and ten farmers yeah oh, no. oh, this is okay I don't want to extend our farmers farms or farmhouses over this direction so I don't want to build another one right there but maybe I could I could build one over here that would be pretty good. I would say. And now we can have a sawmill. Roughly here. We'll cut into its production area a little bit. But I don't mind too much. There we go. Now I am playing on the Steam version. And the Steam version seems to have a particular issue at the moment. Which basically decreases the frame rates. Now if you've watched my previous videos. You may have noticed that the frame rate kind of dips quite a bit. And this video should be a lot smoother. The problem that we're having is that we, um, I don't know why, but for some reason, being online on Steam makes the game run slower. It doesn't make any kind of sense. But when you go into offline mode, the game will suddenly run a whole lot smoother. So right now, I'm getting 60 frames per second, solidly, where before I had like 40, 45, 50, depending on the areas I was looking at. So that's kind of crazy, isn't it? Well, apparently there is going to be a fix for this, and that fix will come in about a week. Which, if you ask me, is far too long. But oh well. Alright, so, some people don't have entirely good access to a pub. We might be able to fix that problem by building a new pub. So let's have a look. Yeah. You know what? We can fit in one right about there. No? And if we turn it around. Now the entrance is on that side. Alright. So we'll put a pub in here. And then we'll add some trees to break things up. So even the farmers don't want to look at <laughs> the cellar of a pub, I guess. Or at least not in my mind. They should not want to do that. <laughs> All right. I'm confident it's ready to go. All right, a new it newspaper. Entirely marvelous to meet you, and that we may show truth or or anything actually in my uh, our broadsheet. All right, stop talking now, please. Thank you. Ditch water is quite full of mirth. Eight and three-fifths from ten is how I score my present feeling, one resident remarked during recent census, yet I am not completely delirious. The effect of this is a minus five percent riot chance. That's pretty good. Uh, relationships with Anne Harlow have deteriorated, so people are unhappy about that. We could edit this and change that for something positive, but we also have 
uh, a positive newspaper article that cancels this one out. So I'm not going to change anything. New company takes root. Six settles first in island. Hopes abound that this seed will germinate into a great leafy tree. Bows heavy with golden fruit. In historic edition we profile company pioneer and enjoy the positivity. Who knows if we shall, shall see its like again. Uncompromising. Yeah. yeah, let's just publish that one. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Right, so money wise we're doing pretty good we are in the plus 207 in terms of um, tax income yeah <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for but we can increase that a little bit more so actually first let me have it look so we are not gaining any pigs that is important to know right so we are going to Add a pig farm right there, and we're going to add some fields to it. Like so, I guess. And then we will have a rendering works, which we will put in right about there. Now, again, my guess for this was about two, but we don't have that amount of workers quite yet, so... I'm not going to build that one immediately, but what I am going to build is the soap factory right about there. Now, we can take out a road and later on we can actually still add the rendering, another wor rendering works. But for now, we have to upgrade some houses. So I guess we'll upgrade these five right here. Now again, this is going to be like downtown, this is going to be, or this, these are going to remain farmhouses, I guess, but our increasingly wealthy people are going to be over in this area. Right, now we do still have some resources left around the map that we can pick up. So we will. Storage full, any surplus will be lost. Alright, so that's good to know. We will not build anything else. Meanwhile, though, soap should we very slowly cabins. start coming in once these guys are producing fully. So we will have to t keep an eye out for that. Meanwhile, though, yeah, the people want soap. Pretty soon they will start wanting a school. And by now they have also started wanting access to beer. So that's another thing that we can give them. We need a grain farm. We need a hop farm, but we don't have a fertility for that. Uh, a malt house and a brewery right now this is going to be problematic because well we don't have the ability to grow hops on this island and that means we are going to have to expand now one of these other islands is probably going to have hops like this one right here it does have hops it has red pepper fertility and grapes uh, we have another small island over here with potatoes, grain, and red pepper. An unsettled island over here without any of those things. This one is slightly bigger. It does have hops, potatoes, and nitre deposits. So this could be a good island to settle because we need the potatoes to provide schnapps to the people that are going to live on this island. So we don't need to make something that will... <laughs> Yeah. Basically, you know, otherwise we would have to bring snaps from this island to that island, and that just doesn't really work very well. Is it what I'm trying to say in a very awkward way. Anyway, let's load up some materials for you. So we'll take 23 of these, and then we need steel beams. Now I think we need four to build a new harbor. Let's have a look. Alright, so this part of the island does not have a beach that we can settle on there is a small beach right there and a bigger beach over here so I guess this will have to be the place where we make our new harbor town right that also means however that we are going to need a boat a schooner to set or to sail between the islands and we can start doing that right now now immediately we start have a start to have a deficit in a worker workforce and that is because we need a hundred people working this island and if we're not actively building something those workers will be spread out through other buildings so those hundred workers are only used once we start building ships 
Now, because we don't have enough workers, the usual build time of 3 minutes has become 8 minutes. That is going to be an issue. Right. So I guess we could upgrade a few more houses. And again, we have this nifty upgrade button for it. There we go. Now, that solves our problem. And now the build time is back to normal. Two and a half minutes by now. That is fantastic. Now, of course, we do still need to build this thing, and we need 8 tons of steel and 10 tons of brick, so we are going to have to wait for that a little bit. And the beer is going to have to be made on another island. Now, we are going to have to settle this one. This island cannot grow wheat, which is also needed to make beer. So, we are going to have to make some grain farms and ship grain from this island to that island. Yeah. Tricky things. <laughs> so we're going to f start focusing on this other town for a bit while we gather the materials that we need to make the weapons factory. But we're almost there. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. My nice purple little ship with our custom logo. And as you can see now we have access to this ghost ghosty blueprints now maybe we can have it off the to the right a little bit more there we go eight we need eight all right so let me sell or buy some steel from sir archibald blake he also has a quest for us and i'm going to want to do that as soon as i have built this town right <laughs> many things going on already and this is just our first expansion but we already have to take several things into account now um, schnapps is going down wood is going down that's okay because we are using them to make timber working clothes are stable wool is going up so that's interesting we have plenty of sales. Now we could do something about the sales because we are not going to need the full amount all the time. And we can actually sell some of them. So we can keep, let's say, 30 tons and sell off the remaining 40 tons to have an extra bit of cash infusion. That's going to be extremely useful as we... Uh-oh. Uh That's not good. Crap. Alright, so I guess we are going to have to have a fire station here. And of course, since we only plopped it down just now, it is still going to have to train firefighters. Which is really unfortunate. That building is probably going to burn down. More flexible than you imagined. Alright, so let us take not 30 tons, let's take 10 tons of steel. It's quite expensive. We can take some bricks. Because why not? Those are pretty cheap, and we have plenty of planks. Duty so. done. Time for a kip. Let's buy that stuff off of Sir Archibald there. And look at that water. It's really, really beautiful. And now I'm curious if I can go back up to Ultra settings. Now that we are playing the, in the offline version. Right, our ship is done. That is good. We have some farmers left over. And that means we should make two grain farms. We need 40 farmers for that. So we actually need a couple of more houses. Right, and we'll leave some space right about there. We can play some, some pretty things later on, <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, so now we will have some extra workers, we can make some grain fields. I think we can do that over here, because I don't know if my city is going to extend all the way to over there. Actually, probably it is going to. So in that particular case, maybe, yeah, we're not going to build another thing here. So let's make a grain farm. Right about there. 
Now I do want to have access to another road, so I'm just going to drag a road along the, the river there. Has been vanquished. And then we're going to add some wheat fields to this thing. Right, so that field is now full, that is cool. Let us get a second one. So I think, yeah, this produces every minute. This produces every minute and a half. So we're actually going to need two hop farms. 30 seconds for this. Yeah, so we're going to need two grain farms to sustain that one thing. Right, more fields for this building right there. And I really like that we can have these huge open fields. It's really cool. Like these all flow into each other so nicely and they're very vibrant. And that's really cool. Now, um, again, I would like you to be a little bit more to the right, please. Not there. I want it to be roughly about the center of the beach. Crap. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Slightly to the other side. Come on. Alright, that's it. Now you've got more islands than me. There we go. Right. So A minuscule gain. You must be very proud. Slower than him. Alright, so he has more islands than us, but doesn't matter. Now, we cannot actually start farming here until we have farmers, obviously. And this is a big change from Anno 1404. Um Let's have a look. Where do we want our people to live? I think this could be a nice area for it. Right? With the cliffs on the background. I think that's a really nice spot for a town. Right. Now, of course, the road needs to be hooked up to this area. Otherwise, it will not have access to any goods. And then we're going to start expanding a little bit. Right, so we need farmers. And now we're going to have to make some lumberjack huts. Right, and a sawmill. Yeah. Two, actually. Otherwise we cannot keep up. Right, so this is roughly equal to the other side. It's going to take some minutes before it is up and running completely. And that's fine. Aye, that sucks. This cannot be on the beach like so. It's going to cut into the workable area a little bit. But oh well, what can you do, right? So meanwhile, we should probably try to take on this quest. Alas, my bowels churn afresh, and I must beg your expertise. All right, the expedition was a success, but rough seas have claimed one of Her Majesty's treasures and roots. She would be most indebted if you could recover it. Sure. Uh -oh. Why not? Pick up Flotsam. Right there. Now, it's in the fog of war, so we cannot see it right now, but once her ship is close by... That is going to be not a problem anymore. Okay. So these guys are slowly planting the forest before they can go to work. And then we can put down a few more buildings as well as, of course, the fishery, which we are also going to need pretty soon. All right. So let us then take a look at trade routes. Finally, let's create the first one. So we can charter a ship. That doesn't belong to us. Or we can create an internal trade route. And this is preferable because it doesn't cost us any money. And we already have a ship. Right, so. We have Ditchwater. And we have Sassenberg, our new town. Now, in Ditchwater, we will load grain. And we are going to unload that grain in Sassenberg. And the ship that we are going to use for this is the Castaway. Which has two cargo slots. Now, we can accept that, and that ship will now start going about its merry business. Yeah. Now, 
obviously also um, we can name this. So grain did sus. That's like a short for ditch water to Sassenberg. So we can change that to grain and beer and accept. Because later on I will also want to use this ship to bring back the beer. <laughs> Alright, so what else is there for us to do? We want to have a school now apparently. Now we're, ve we're very close to getting the amount of stuff that we need. Ah, but first of all, of course, we were going to make the weapons manufactory. I find myself looking up to you, as the youngest often will. Awesome. Now, let's have a look. We have a regular amount of steel. We have no iron being overproduced. I wonder. No. Well, seems roughly equal. It's not a huge problem. Right. Meanwhile, though, our ship has gotten within range of the Fotsum. We have also discovered a new island, which is kind of nice. Alright. Let's bring this item back to Sir Archibald and reclaim our gift of gold. It's going to be roughly 4,000, which is kind of nice. Meanwhile, though, in Sassenberg, the wood has started moving towards the sawmills. So this guy is still missing goods, but this is of course being unloaded right now, so things are about to happen here, which is fantastic. Now these guys, by now, want fish. So that is the first thing that we are going to take care of for them. Now, we only need two wood which is exactly what we have so that's fine once they have this they should have more farmers moving into the residences because right now we only have five out of ten as soon as the fish comes in they should go up to seven and that should give us the amount of farmers we need of course we are going to have to expand quite a bit but we need to wait until we have some more timber like we can make one building right now but had a rip roaring time of it yeah Indeed. Fish bang bibbly. There she blows. That's like the most annoying thing in the history of voiceovers. Bish bang bibbly. <laughs> God damn. That's really bad. Alright, so gunboats. We need two of those and a frigate. For that we need artisans. So it's going to take a little while until we get to that point. Um, gunboats, however, can be made as soon as we have seven. Uh, weapons or 14 for both of them they also need 20 seals but that's fine um, this is now well within our range right so grain is also coming in it should be transported now as well it's not really increasing a whole lot and we could do with more bread like we have a lot of flour coming in so with that in mind we might as well make another bakery. Right, and... Oh, that fits in quite nicely there, actually. I do want to turn it the other way compared to this building that's already there. Just for variety's sake. There we go. This is a nice little area of production. Now, an elm tree. Let's grow some trees right there. Just to break things up a little bit, color things in, because you cannot do anything with that space, really. Yeah. That's kind of nice, isn't it? Now we have the poplar grove, poplar trees, trembling aspen, small trees, temperate grove. But I think we have the poplar groves or not? Safe. No. It's different. <laughs> what are these? Mature tree ornaments. Small tree, poplar grove, poplar, flower bed. Ah, we're on the... Ah, I see. I see. 
I don't like these trees. Let's get rid of those. Let's put in some mature trees. I want these to be equal, damn it. <laughs> right, so progress is being made. Like I said, we have to start working towards having beer. So let's load up the flagship here with plenty of construction material. So 50 of those, 10 more bricks, because why not? Let's bring them over to our island. Now these guys are getting food. We have some more construction materials and so we will continue making some farmhouses. Right, roads for everyone. Roads all around. Now as timber comes in, as our ship will soon arrive, we can fill in the rest of these. These guys sh should still should soon start to want other things like schnapps which we can make on this island luckily for us right because we have the potato fertility so that's not going to be a problem they can have a pub like all of these things it's not going to be an issue now we can even make our own clay deposit thing over here which is really good Right, the village. So, the farmers here now want to have work clothes. So that's another thing that we can produce for them. That's not going to be a problem. Right, so we will add a sheep farm right about there. And the sheep farm, of course, wants to have three fields. And then we're going to have the framework knitters. Right about there. Connect this up by road. And there we go. Now this is going to be a little bit rougher, I guess. Now we can actually... Uh, make the roads go all the way around this thing. So that we know what is being used. Just something that you know, makes it easier to keep a lookout for all of these things. So, clothes are being made. Uh, they now want schnapps as well. For that, of course, we are going to need even more farmers. <laughs> now, we can also do with a small farmhouse, but first, let's unload our ship. And the bricks. Right. Because I don't want all of this to be unloaded in our small trading post here. That's going to be inefficient. So, we will add another small warehouse right about there roads all around and then we will construct a potato farm yeah right about there I guess let's have a look all right so that fills the field nicely We'll have this one in the in between those two. So, schnapps are on their way as well, which is fantastic. This should mean that these guys will fill up on everything they need pretty soon. All right, this is now producing and unloading. Um, already this thing is being slightly overused, I guess. Another transporter is... Two transporters are waiting, so I guess we do need to upgrade this Thing, so we can have some more production flow through I guess would be the correct word insufficient workforce because they're unhappy Never they're unhappy the because they have not had any work clothes yet but this is soon going to change uh, they also want a pub this is something we can immediately provide to everyone so let's build a pub right there make everybody extremely happy or happier I guess there we go they are now content, more people will start moving in. And this is something I really like about Anno 1800, is that in Anno 1404, you did not need to have workers on an island in order to make anything. It would just kind of magically happen, and that didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. And this does so much, or makes so much more sense in that respect. However, it also makes things more difficult. Obviously, because we have many more people that require our attention. 
and well we can have multiple shortages on multiple different islands and it's going to be much harder to keep an eye on everything anyway we've been playing for a while already so i'm going to be putting a cut in here but please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this content and wish to see more and i will see you guys for whatever video i do next <laughs>